each one recorded by his human observers since the very day he was born. From these notes, we can reconstruct the story of Titus's extraordinary life. When Titus was four years old, barely weaned from his mother's milk, he witnessed the brutal murder of his father. The great silverback was shot in the chest while defending Titus and his family from poachers. The group was sent into turmoil. Without a dominant silverback, the guerrillas became frightened and confused. In the chaos, Titus's mother fled. The four-year-old Titus was orphaned. Everyone believed his short life was over. But Titus didn't die. He was adopted by a totally unrelated silverback. The silverback treated Titus like a son. He was offered shelter and protected against the other males in the group. Titus is a born survivor, and he grew to be a great and powerful leader. Today, Titus has the same fighting spirit. But he's a grandfather figure, and his life has come full circle. In a remarkable twist of fate, he now cares for a young orphan gorilla whose mother has left the group. This orphan is alone in the world, as Titus was once. Entirely dependent on the aging silverback for warmth, shelter, and above all, protection. But Titus's age makes the pair vulnerable. The approaching silverback will attempt to seize control of the group and could kill an infant fathered by another male. The orphan's survival depends entirely on Titus's ability to remain at the head of his group and fight off this impending threat. <laughs> 